Hey guys, now this lesson's a bit of a um, bit of, got a bit of a made up title. So pseudo three four is not really a thing. Okay, it's just my way of explaining how you get these three four feels in with a four four beat, and really just an excuse to show you a awesome trick. Okay, so when you're looking at your timing you can pretty much split up whatever you want into sets of twos and threes, okay? So if you end up with a 4-4 uh, rhythm and you're playing in eight notes, that gives you eight notes to play with, right? Okay, over two bars. But if you play a couple of those um, in sets of three, you get this three, four sound to it. Um, so I'll give you, give you a listen. So if it's a, all right. Okay. Just simple riff. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then if I was to keep playing in three, four, I would sort of, that's got a feel to it. But then if I want to keep it to a 4-4, four, four, okay, I'm going to add a 2 at the end. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Okay. All right. And it rounds it off. Now, it's when you start to increase the amount of these triplets, you really get a different feel to something. But... Um, Let's just try and get this going first. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. All right, and when we put it together. start to see it's got a really cool sound and if you sort of speed it up you've got a really cool kind of a riff generating trick all right now if you extend that out a bit and take in a few more bars you can start to get some uh, more complex um, patterns that'll fit into it but we'll just keep it really simple um, just so we don't get too confused, but uh, all right, I'm just running off the E minor scale here. So if you think about it, we could almost look at that and go, all right, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. All right, playing the notes in a sequence, but we're going to double it up, okay? All right. That's how we want the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. All right, so we've extended that pattern out. So. All right, so that's an easy way to wrap your head around it. Now, if we take it back and apply it to the riff from before, start to go okay it's got a little bit more of that three four feel to it with two sets of two at the end so and rather than just it can be a you can change it up all right now this sounds really cool sped up a lot all right so get a riff practice it, pick up the speed to it, and you'll get something really cool. Now, we can apply this to chords as well. Okay, so especially those sort of fast chord changes, or say if we're gonna just rip through some power chords, which is kind of fun. So a power chord, I haven't done a lesson on it because it's really just a first and a fifth. There's nothing to it. All right, so we're just gonna do a first and a fifth. Might start on the A. 
but one, two, three, back. So there's our four, then one, two, one, two, so. So we're just gonna chunk through a couple of chords there. And then when you speed it up. It's got a really cool feel to it. Now, whether a drummer plays a four, four over this or matches you with the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Totally up to you how you're gonna put that bit together, but both sound awesome. Okay. Now, not going to dive too much further into this one because it is really something you want to play with, but just that little trick as well. Get in there, try it out on some lead as well. All right. Have a little muck around, see what comes out. Alrighty. We'll leave it there and I'll see you next time.